Ray and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be using one of my favorite battle rifles, the Baz B. Definitely sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay, man. And I'll see you guys later. I don't even think I was. But she's funny though, she's funny. The other ones are weird. Yeah. The lead clock's ticking. Yeah, I need to, um. Freebie right there. Oh, my God. Oh my god. What? Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Hostiles deployed a mosquito. Oh, oh geez. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. 
Friendly SAE inbound. Copy. Vandal 3-1 is on station. Engaging hostiles. Friendly cruiser. Friendly UAV on station. We're getting hit hard. Come on, go up there. Hello? Go, like help me out. Okay, never mind. Wow, oh, never mind. Yes. Enemies inside the perimeter. Copy. UAV is on station. We got online. Missile. Game's over. Yo, so welcome back to this Bass B gun class setup, man, here on Modern Warfare 3. If you guys did enjoy that beautiful gameplay, definitely smash that like button, man. Subscribe if you're new, as well as also turning on that Noti bell, man. Just be part of that Noti gang. But hitting that like button and commenting first, man, you know what I'm saying? Getting that beautiful Noti once I upload. So, without further ado, man, let's do get right into this beautiful class setup. So, starting off with the muzzle, we did run that Bruin Harmonic Suppressor L, which does give us, obviously, the suppressor, but it also adds on a lot of record control. As you guys do see by the bars man it is literally increasing just record control but as for the percentages we did increase for the percentages side you know horizontal and vertical recoil 6.5 percent 5.2 percent we did decrease a you know i would say a lot but it's not really that much of a difference ads speed 17.8 percent for the barrel we did run that short 8 inch brewing sc45 barrel giving us some extra record control gun kick control as well as more expensive fire time basically making up what we just decreased on the muzzle and then as for the percentage Percentages. As you guys do see, man, we did increase 4% recoil gun kick. Horizontal and vertical, we did increase about 6 to 7%. We did decrease some range, obviously, because this is a short range barrel, but honestly, it's not that much big of a deal. You still could get somebody down with three to four shots. So then, as for the handling, we did decrease ADS speed, but then we did increase sprint to fire time. So honestly, if you're a running gunner, this does, this is actually a plus for you. But you know, if you are a little camper, you know what I'm saying? It's 
gonna be kind of slow well slower than usual but you know it's, it's honestly it's not that slow as you guys did see in that gameplay as for the magazine this is where it was a bit confusing so as you guys do see we are hovering over the 45 we're hovering over the 30 you know we did run the 30 on this game but check out the difference you know obviously the mobility is a huge difference sprint to fire time and the ads time is a huge difference as well but you know it all depends on personal preference if you want more bullets obviously put that 45 on you know obviously you can get a bigger feed higher feed but then on the 30 you do also you know including just the 30 round mag you get the faster pace compared to the 45 you do get a faster reload time right so you know it's it's personal preference you got some pros you got some cons but you know i ran the 30 as for the percentages as you guys do see man we do lower less than the 45 you know three uh three about three percent one percent on the mobility side handling side we did decrease a lot of recoil quickness but not as much as the 45 so i'm gonna hover over it that way you can see the difference between that for the most part it doubles everything so you know the 30 is i think a bit better rather than the default and the 45 for the optic i did and i usually do run the mk3 reflector which does give us those old um helo site vibes for the stock we did run that ravage 20 heavy stock which does give us some extra recoil control and a lot of gun kick control as well as a bit of accuracy firing aiming stability as for the percentages as for the percentages as you guys are seeing recoil control we did increase a whole bunch we got 20.8 percent on recoil gun kick we got 5.8 on horizontal and about 10 on vertical recoil we did decrease as you guys you know did see in the on the bars a bit of accuracy but you know mobility we already know we add on anything is going to decrease a bit of mobility but listen we were flying through the map you know what i'm saying this is not a bad setup definitely check this stock out man one of my favorites for this weapon all right so without further ado man this was the bass b class setup for this beautiful beautiful gameplay man if you guys did enjoy it yo definitely smash that like button man subscribe if you're new and haven't already done so as well as turning on that noti bell man just be part of that beautiful noti gang by being that first one to like and comment so without further ado man i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time Peace.